Jewish day begins at sundown, a custom the church follows to some extent. For example, Sunday and major feasts start the evening before. That's the reason Catholics celebrate Sunday Mass on Saturday evening. In fact, there is no Saturday evening prayer or night prayer. Instead, we pray the first of two sets of Sunday evening and night prayers. And the reading for the first of those night prayers begins, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. So the first day of our week begins with the first of all the commandments. It's not only that, however, it's the basic Jewish declaration of faith. Just as Christians can sum up their faith in the phrase, Jesus Christ is Lord, Jews use these words to declare what they believe. So it was natural that Jesus would cite them as the prime commandment. From childhood, he had recited them daily. After all, he was a Jew. That should be obvious to his followers. And yet, at many times throughout history, followers of a Jew named Jesus have attacked his people. And our failures are not limited to the way we've treated Jews. We haven't treated each other any better. In fact, looking at the way I treat people around me would not be a good advertisement for Christianity. What's gone wrong in our lives? The way to find out where I've gone wrong is to look at the commandments. And if I want to find the most basic wrong in my life, I should look to the most basic commandment. The problem with the first commandment is that little word, all. I'm willing to love God in a half-hearted way. Church on Sunday and occasional prayers are fine. But loving God with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, and all my strength, that doesn't leave much for me. When I carry a grudge, it's with me all the time. Someone in love carries thoughts of the beloved around all the time. What about my thoughts of God? The commandment says, keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. The fact is, I can go for days without giving God a single thought. Oh, I might think from time to time about religious duties and such, but of God? Even when I'm in church, I seldom think of God. Since I seldom think of God, I don't keep the first commandment. Because I don't keep the first commandment, I fall short of keeping the second. Being a Christian is not about behaving toward others in a certain way. It's about having a special kind of relationship with God. All else follows from that. How can I grow in that relationship? One way is to do what I do to build any relationship. Talk. Carry on a conversation with God. I shouldn't bother calling it prayer. That makes it seem too like a task or too exalted. Just talk. I should do it all day long, or at least when I remember to. I should say anything, even if it's just, God, I'm going to feed the goldfish now. Such an ongoing conversation with God could gradually lead me to keeping love of God in my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Then I would be able to love my neighbor as God does.